morning, my friends. We are already off to a strong start. Two large M-Class solar flares. There's one there, and here comes the next one going off in rapid succession. You are going to see them take place from the same exact spot within about an hour, two hours of each other. That is pretty significant because now that energy that is coming from the sun, now from both of these eruptions, is pretty much going to combine if they do, in fact, clip Earth. Now, the data is so new that we don't even have all the other cameras lined up yet. So when I tell you that this quite literally just took place, that is exactly what I mean. These two solar flares back to back, I'm going to show you that chart right now that depicts just how strong these two M-Class flares were. You can see that first one was a little bit stronger than the second after it, but these are the two that I'm speaking of, and look how close they are together. So that sunspot that we were literally talking about a few days ago as being a potential hazard if it were Earth-facing, basically just saved us. As you can see, that same area producing an M-Class flare just about 12 hours ago, and then that same spot once again reoccurring M-Class solar flares. As you can see here on the channel with this thumbnail right here we've been watching this group of sunspots for over six days now and then just three days ago we put out an earthquake watch as that grouping of sunspots became earth facing and because now this has moved to almost an upper right hand portion of the sun chances are we won't get a direct hit from these but when you're talking about large solar flares or the m class the higher m classes or the x class flares those will broaden out and they can and have impacted earth from these different angles I was actually in the process of editing another video as these took place and they happened so close that I had to stop what I was doing and report on this instead because this is some crazy stuff. Now don't expect this set of sunspots to be done. We may see more large M-class flares. We could even see an X-class flare come from this grouping of sunspots now that we know that it is super active over the last few hours. And just take a look at the beauty of when one of these things happen. That shape of an X right there, that is where that X-class term comes from even though you get the X with the M-class flares as well but again my friends i can't stress enough when things like this happen we'll get more data as the day goes on because these are so fresh but i'm gonna go ahead and say we need to be on our toes about an earthquake watch don't be surprised if you start seeing large and or frequent earthquakes along the fault lines and even in some places that you don't usually see earthquakes because we all know by now especially if you follow this channel that earthquakes are 100 percent influenced by the magnetic field being interrupted by solar flares from our sun all right my friends like i said just a quick heads up i'll get done with that other video for you later on today but take a look at the sun today check out these lasco c3 and c2 cameras they are very very interesting in fact we just posted a video that third phase of moon just featured last night on a very interesting anomaly that we caught here on this camera in fact you can find that video right here on our channel posted two days ago named crazy advanced technology captured on satellite cam you have got to check that video out i'm telling you all right my friends i want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video stay tuned for another one later on this afternoon shout out to canada and i'll see you all very soon take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed